Good morning, Miss Nicole. Good morning, Officer Inabo. How are you? <gasps> no! That's not a good breakfast. Try this cheese or an apple. Oh, thank you. You're it's welcome. Better. Welcome back to Connection, Connection Corner. Corner. I'm Miss Kilpatrick, your school counselor. And I'm Miss Lindsay, your school social worker. It's day two of Red Ribbon Week, which means that we're all dressed up like what we want to be when we grow up. Or some of the teachers might be what they wanted to be when they were little, your age. Wait, Miss Lindsay, what are you dressed up as? Well, when I was little, I wanted to be a nurse, just like my mom. Oh, that's cool. Miss Kilpatrick, what are you dressed up as? Well, when I was little, I always wanted to be a veterinarian so I could take care of all the animals in the world. Oh. Carl? Carl, what are you dressed up as? Wait, is he an artist? Like Miss Robinson. Oh. oh. And you know what? Miss Robinson made our awesome new Connection Corner sign. Thanks, Miss Robinson. Make sure to tell her thank you when you go see her in class. So today, day two of Red Ribbon Week, we're talking about nutrition. Because if we want to be all these fun things we dressed up as and dream really big, which we do, we have to eat all the right things so we can grow up big and strong. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about nutrition and some foods that are good for us and help our bodies grow and get really strong and then some foods that are bad for us and don't do anything good for our bodies. Like soda? Did you know that most people drink enough soda in one year to fill a whole bathtub? Wow, that seems like way too much soda. Doesn't soda have something in it called sugar? Yeah, it does. A lot of sugar. And sugar is something that while it may taste good, it's really not very good for our bodies and we should limit the amount of sugar we have. Scientists say that we should have less than 25 grams of sugar a day. So that means things like soda, one bottle of soda already has way more sugar than that. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. I didn't know that. What about these healthy foods? So something that doesn't take any preparation and you can just grab and eat at any time is things like yogurt, apples, oranges, or even some string cheese. You can also pick up some vegetables. I got this one and it's already chopped and there's some ranch dressing, but you could also get other vegetables and make it yourself. Now I'm gonna show you a really fun snack that you can make really easy at home and it's good for you. I have a tortilla, peanut butter, and I have bananas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fork and we're just gonna get some peanut butter. Not too much. And then we're gonna spread it on the tortilla. So I'm just moving it around. Okay. Then we're gonna take our banana. And bananas are good because they're easy to tear up. So I'm just gonna make little pieces. And then you can fold it or roll it or however you want. I think I'm gonna roll it. And then you have a healthy after school snack. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about water and hydration and why it's so important for our bodies. I have some water here and Miss Lindsay, you've done really good with your hydration today. Thanks, Miss Kilpatrick. I've almost drank in one whole bottle already this morning. The reason water is so important is because our bodies are made of about 60% water. So that means we have to constantly replenish it because we do things like sweat that releases the water from our skin to help us cool down. It's important for kids to drink about 60 ounces of water a day. That's like three to four water bottles. Oh, wow. 
And you know what can help you with that? Here at Elmdale, we have really great hydration stations where you can fill up your water bottle as many times as you need to throughout the day. And I know when you guys come in from recess, you're hot and you're sweaty, like Miss Lindsay said, and you need to fill those water bottles up and drink as much as you can. That's another episode of Connection Corner. And we hope you learned a lot about the good and healthy foods to put in your body so that you can grow big and strong and be whatever it is that you want to be when you grow up. And remember, we, we all have the power to connect. connect.